Uh, first things first, how did you hurt your thumb? Um, was that here or was that elsewhere? No, that was here. I've been here the last month working out with everybody. Uh, we've been working out every day in the weight room and then we play five on five together. So that was here last, I think it was last Monday. Um, I think it was the first game in open gym. And then, I mean, I played the rest of the day. I thought I just jammed my finger. And then the next day, it was like swelling in it. It was a little purple. So they wanted to get some imaging. And then, uh, unfortunately, it was a torn ligament that um, I had surgery on. And, I'm, you know, I'm going through the rehab process now. What kind of burden does that put on you when, like, Obviously, you've had the injury history the last two years, but then this is just like a total fluke unrelated to anything else. Does that does that affect you in a different way? Nah, I'm past that. I mean, I've been through real life situations, so like none, none of this affects me. I mean, I really couldn't control that. I went for the ball and I jammed my thumb. And then, I mean, you know, it just went into a, a tore ligament. Um, I tried to... I mean, everything happens for a reason. So, you know, when they, when they told me the news, I laughed. Like, I was in there laughing because I'm like, damn, it's always something. But at the end of the day, I mean, this won't, this won't break me. I've been through way worse. Isaiah, um, which, uh, which team would you looking forward to play against most? Would it still be Boston? Can you talk about it? The Seattle Sonics. <laughs> nah, I'm not, I mean, I'm just looking forward to playing. I mean, I really haven't played in two years, like, meaningful games. So I'm looking forward to finally being healthy, uh, you know, putting my, my hip injury, you know, behind me. And um, I'm feeling really great other than, you know, injuring my thumb last week. But um, I'm looking forward to a really great season. I'm looking forward to being able to, you know, take advantage of the opportunity that they're giving me here and, you know, helping in any way possible I can with the Wizards organization. Uh, IT over here. How you doing? Good. Um, coming onto this team, there's 10 new guys, most of them first year, second year players. With you being out, how have you kind of embraced the leadership role, um, kind of helping Coach Brooks kind of lead the way with these, uh, with these younger guys? I mean, leadership role is just something I've always done. So it's not nothing that I'm trying to do that's new. Um, I'm just who I am. I'm a, I'm a lead by example. I'm a lead vocally. Um, and like I said, they're giving me a great opportunity here, um, and I'm just here to help in any way possible. I know we got a lot of new guys, a lot of young guys, so uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna I'm show them the way anyway. I mean, any way that I can. And you know, these guys ask a lot of questions, so that's always, you know, a sign of of guys wanting to be great and guys wanting to be really good in this league. And I'm I'm here for that. So you know, I'm I'm only 30 years old, so I'm not I'm not old at all. But I I I've been through a lot in this in this in this league and. And I can show them a lot. So I'm, I'm here to help any way I can. I tell you, in the time that you, you were on the court with the guys and you've still been in the facility, what have you learned about your teammates even before day one? Um, I mean, guys are very, very hard workers. I mean, everybody, this is the first time I've been on a team, really, that everybody's been here since the first. So we've been here a month already getting, you know, getting familiar with, familiar with each other. We was in LA in August together, getting together for a couple of days, working out. I mean, it's a it's a great group of guys. You know, you really see how great the group is when you hit adversity, though. You know, in the middle of the year when things don't go as planned, and you you see who's really in it for you know the 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 long haul and the big picture. And I think these guys are in it for that. Um, we got a great coaching staff, a great front office, and you know I'm one of the leaders on this team, so I'm here to you know lead in any way possible. I think you tweeted it that you're the lightest you've been since you were in college. Yeah. Uh, has that, does that help you? If, if, or how, how has it helped you? I mean, it helps you. Shit, it helps my hip for sure. Um, I just wanted to try to be as light as possible. I wanted to, you know, um, get in the best shape I possibly could going into this season just because, like I said earlier, I haven't played in a couple years, like meaningful games. I haven't play back to backs. I haven't I've been on the ministry tricks in the last couple of years coming back from injury. So um, I just wanted to put myself in the best position possible 
to be able to take advantage of the opportunity given here with the Washington Wizards. And I think I've done a great job of that other than, you know, last week getting hurt in my thumb. So. Hi, Isaiah. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. So I saw that you were at the Mystics game recently. Mm -hmm. You you said you've been here for about a month. Yeah. I mean, how has your time been in D.C. so far, getting to know the culture, the fans, yeah. you know, the environment where you're living? How how has it been so far? Everything's been great. I mean, it's been other than the humidity here, but everything's been in a really easy transition for me and my family. Um, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. My family likes it. My kids like the school they're in. Um, so that's really most important. Um, the basketball comes after that. But, I mean, everybody's been really, you know, welcoming me with open arms. I mean, everybody always say something about how they hated me at first, and then, you know, they, they like me now. So, it's, I mean, it's all love. I always tell them the things that happened in the past, it was never personal. I was just trying to handle some business. So, um I mean, like I said, it's been welcome with open arms. The organization's been first class. The people around the city's been first class, and it's been genuine love, and I, and I appreciate that. Isaiah, you have coined the phrase, slow, the hashtag, the slow grind yeah. on Instagram. With all that's given on, can you kind of speak on more to that? Do you feel like this is all a part of that slow grind, being that, you know, you continue, continuously get over yeah. adversity with, you know, all that you do. Can you talk about that? Um, I think, yeah, the slow grind, I think, is just a lifestyle. I mean, it's it's like a marathon, like one of my close friends, Nipsey Hussle, will say. Um, the marathon continues. I think in life, life is a slow grind no matter what. Like, you, anything that you work for is not going to come like this. So I know that throughout my career it's been like this, and the last couple of years have been really tough for me, but at the end of the day, I always say, you know, it can't storm forever. Like, it, it got a sun. The sun got to come out at some point. And um, in my life, I've always just been a guy that just continue to grind and continue to work for what I've, you know, what I've always envisioned in the long run, and that's being one of the best basketball players to ever play the game. So, you know, throughout life, there's going to be bumps in the road. But, you know, when you hit adversity, that's what shows your true character. And, at the end of the day, it just makes the story that much better. So, you know, I'm all smiles. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed. Like, I've, I've been through it the last couple of years, but at the end of the day, like, I die for this, and I really mean that. So, I mean, I, I do whatever it takes to be able to play the game of basketball. Um, that's what makes me the most happy, and I'm just happy to be here, to have a great opportunity here with the Wizards and somebody that really wanted me to come here and be who I've always been. Recently, some details of the uh, the Mamba camp mm -hmm. have come out, and you were one of the participants. Yeah. Just what happened behind those uh, those doors in those two days? Um, a lot. I mean, Kobe Bryant's arguably the best basketball player to ever play. So for him to be there six hours of the day, both days, and really be hands-on, answer questions, talk about different things, what he sees in different guys' games, it's like, I've had a relationship with Kobe for a while, so I've always had that one-on-one -on -one with him. But to see him in that setting and such great players be in that setting and be able to compete and be able to learn from Kobe Bryant, it's like that was one of the best two days of my life. Um, Basketball-wise, we watched film with him. We did mind things with him. Like, we did a lot. I don't want to say all the things because he might, he might get mad. He was trying to keep that really, like, where nobody knows what went down. But it was a great two days where you learned a lot from, from the best player to play the game. Yeah, I'm not going to get in detail. He, he does weird things, but I guess, I mean, if he does it, it works. So, <laughs> But it was great. It was great two days. You've been here at least a month. Yeah. Brad's been here. John's been here. How many times have you brought up that 2017 playoff series? <laughs> They bring it up. I, I try not to bring up the past. Like, that was – I don't really like talking about the past. But everybody here brings it up. So I try not to bring it up. But they always talk about the 53 points and how I was killing them. But, you know, me me and John have been friends since high school. Me and Brad are building a relationship now. So, you know, it, when we battle on five on five, it comes out every now and then. Like, they know what it really is, so. <laughs> but, you know, it's all fun and games. So I, I, I love those guys. They bring the best out of me. In that series, they brought the best out of me. And, you know, it was great players competing and trying to win a series. So 
it comes up from them, not from me. Hey, so Isaiah, you rocking the cornrows now. You back in the D.C. area. Allen Iverson was your favorite player, right? Mm -hmm. I think growing up. Yeah. So have you been able to connect with him since you've been here? Not since I've been here, but it's somebody I always talk to. I mean, at least a couple times a month. But I haven't been able to connect with him since I've been here. Um, I've been busy, you know, making this transition. But I guess I am trying to bring my, you know, Allen Iverson to, to you know, the DMV and, and try to, you know, just bring excitement. Not saying back, because it's always been exciting here with Brad and John and those guys. But, you know, a different type of excitement from a little guy, you know. Hi, Isaiah. Um, I'd like to um, ask you two questions. One is, um, how do you see, as a rookie, Rui um, could play at the, uh, the first year of the season? And second is, as an off-court, like, what do you think about him um, in general? Um, I think he's going to be a really great basketball player. Um, he's a guy that's already talented, but he also listens and, w and wants to learn. Um, I don't know it all, but I know a lot. And he's a guy that always seems to ask questions, no matter if it's a player or a coach. And, you know, that's half the battle for young players. Um, he's showing signs of wanting to be great. And, I mean, he has the tools to be great. So I think he's going to be a really special player in this league. And off the court, he's just really intelligent. I mean, he's really smart. You can just tell the way he carries himself. So, I mean, he's going to have a great career for sure. I see you bring any lessons from your time in SAC to here, being on the team that's trying to build something that's on the kind of on the ground floor trying to move up as opposed to where you were a couple years ago with Boston and mm -hmm. with Denver last year? Yeah. Um, don't get comfortable with, with losing, I guess. Not saying we're going to come in here and lose, but as a young player and a young team, you could get comfortable with, with getting in that mindset and just coming to work and, and doing what you got to do and get out of here. So I think with this group, being around these guys for the last month, they have a different mindset. Like they want to learn, they want to be really good. Um, they're good. They're good guys first and foremost, and I think that's most important. And I always say, I mean, if you have a good group of guys that, that are willing to continue to work each and every day, continue to get better and love being around each other, I think that's half the battle. I mean, you're going to take your lumps, you're going to take your bumps and bruises throughout the long NBA season, but it's just how you how you hit adversity and how you learn from it. You know, like I said, that builds character. And I feel like, I mean, at times, no matter how good the team is, you're going to hit adversity. And you have leaders like myself, Brad, John, that those guys will turn to when they don't know where to go. And we're here to help in any way possible. And I think, you know, being in the Eastern Conference, I mean, everything is up in the air. Anything is possible. Um, I think playoffs should be a goal for us. And we go out there and leave it all out there on the floor each and every night and, you know, see what happens. Isaiah, you talked about not playing meaningful minutes for the past two years. How do you mentally prepare yourself to get back into the game? And also, once you get through your injury, now that you have this opportunity, what does personal success look like for you this season? Um, I mean, I know at, at the end of the day, it's going to take me time. Like, you know, everybody wants it. Not, I mean, everybody wants me to get it back like this, but you got to understand, like, it took me so long to get to the MVP level. Like, I got hurt, and it took me, I mean, I've been battling this injury for the last couple years due to, like, not having surgery the first go around, then deciding to have surgery, and then figuring out the rest of my body. Like, usually I can go on any court and just, you know, lace my shoes up and play. Like, I go to any park now, it's like, I got to do what's right for my body. And I know that I'm really healthy right now other than injuring my thumb. I feel like myself again for the first time in a couple years. But at the end of the day, I know it's going to take time. Like, I'm not going to get it back like this. I'm, I'm a, there's time where it's going to be rushed. I haven't played, like I said, meaningful minutes in real life situations against the best players in the world in really two years. Like last year, I had 28 DMPs. Like, so I haven't played in a while. Like the year before that, I played on the Cavs and played 12 games and then end up having surgery when I was on the Lakers. So if you look at the big picture, I haven't played real basketball in a while. So this summer was really big for me and really important for me to get better because the summers before, I, didn't, I wasn't able to get better in two years. So this was the first summer in two years that I was able to sit back, really get better on and off the court, really 
figure out my body and what was best for my body. And, you know, I got a great opportunity with the Wizards. And my goal is to show people I can still play at a high level. And I know I can. I just need the opportunity. And these guys have said they will give me a real opportunity. And that's all I ask for. And, you know, individual goals, I just want to play at a high level and be healthy. And I know I can do that. And, yeah, I think the world knows what I can do when I'm healthy. I mean, obviously, I want to be an all-star again and be all-NBA and do those things. But there's steps I got to take before I could be able to reach those goals. And I'm willing to take every step possible. And, you know, that's by, you know, it's a slow grind. So I got to be able to stay on my marathon and keep running this race. No problem. Thank you, guys.